Hi everyone, I'm Tatsuya. This is my first time speaking in English in this way. I would be grateful if you could listen to the end. I've always wanted to say thank you to non Japanese people too. It's my pleasure. You are watching my video. Thank you so much. I think ASMR is good because anyone can enjoy it even if we don't understand the language. Don't you think so? Yeah. Alright. Let me introduce myself. I was born and raised in Osaka, Japan. Only Osaka has a Universal Studios in Japan. That's about it. Just kidding. Just kidding. Sorry, I'm sorry. The good point about Osaka is the food is great. Yeah. So. It's not Osaka, but I recommend it Nara in the Kansai region. Nara is nice and full of nature. And it's my favorite place. I was a musician until about four years ago. I bought a guitar when I was 13. But I gave up right away. Because I couldn't press down the F chord. F chord. <laughs> you know, is there anyone here who had the same experience as me? You. 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 Oh yeah, high five. High five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I decided to play the bass boom, 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 boom. when I was 16. Then I played it day in and day out. At the time, my favorite band was Jamiroquai, The Smashing Pumpkins, Nirvana, and things like that. I especially liked the songs Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins writes even now. His song touches my heart. After that, I entered a technical school of music. I studied to play bass there for two years. At the time, I was into soul music, disco music, acid jazz, and things like that. I especially liked who runs a gang in disco music. Recently, I like Kurambi. Kurambi. They are so cool. There are also many other artists I love, but it's hard for me to introduce all artists. If you want to know more, please take a look description. Alright. Let's move on to the next topic. I'm gonna talk about my favorite movies. As for the film director, I like Martin Scorsese. So I like Taxi Driver and Good Pharaohs. My favorite actor is Robert De Niro, as you can tell. He's so cool and his acting is awesome. Yeah. I also like Buffalo 66, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotter's Mind, Joker, and things like that. The first movies I saw in my life was Back to the Future. That is very interesting because it's everyone's dream to go to the future and the past. If I were to choose a movie from the similar generation, I also like 
coming to America. I was born in the 1980s, so these movies make me feel nostalgic. By the way, I've been abroad only once. That was New York. In New York, there were so many places I've seen in movies, and it was the most exciting place. I wanna go again and again. New York is charming town and gives me power. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. So next, I'm gonna talk about the NBA. I love, 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 love the NBA. I learned about the NBA when I'm in junior high school. At that time, Allen Iverson was at his peak. He was so amazing. Yeah. But the Philadelphia 76ers lost to the Los Angeles Lakers and missed the championship. But I was just excited when he stepped over. Dion Lu stepped over. You know? He's my hero. Now and forever. And I had another player I loved. It's Dark Nowitzki from Dallas Mavericks. At the time, he was playing with Steve Nash and Michael Finley. Since then, I've been supporting Mavericks. So I was moved to tears when they won the championship. If they won the championship together with Steve and Michael, that would have been awesome. They are my hero too. I'm supporting every team these days. I'm easily moved to tears watching the final. I'm growing old. Lastly, I want to talk about Kobe Bryant. I was really surprised when I heard he's gone. I was just sad and crying all day. I've seen all the times he was in the NBA. His play was very beautiful. He had always been the enemy of the team I supported. And he always beat the team. But that's why the NBA was so interesting. It is all thanks to him. There's nothing else I can do to him. But I did this live streaming because I wanted to express my gratitude. I learned about the importance of life from him. I will never forget you. Rest in peace, Kobe. His daughter Gigi and all of the victims. I will continue to love the NBA. Okay, this channel is ASMR channel. So I will talk about ASMR. I learned about ASMR when I couldn't sleep well due to illness. Probably I was 26 years old. I was looking for a video that made me sleepy. Then I found a video of a woman reading poetry. It made me feel very comfortable. Then I started watching ASMR videos. The reason why I decided to take a video was because I wanted to do something other than playing music. I wanted to do something fresh. And here I am. Life is full of ups and downs. Like getting married or divorce. Divorce, you know. You know. You know. Anyway, that's about it. In the end, I want to tell you something again. I'm so grateful that I have met you. 
I will keep on trying to make you have fun. Please don't hesitate to ask me any questions, but please use simple English. I will respond one by one. Okay then, I wish for your happiness.